Be proud of what you do. A lot of entrepreneurs, they create a product or service and put it out there on the market and, and they're too afraid to show it to people because they're not actually proud of what they're doing. You know, you need to be able to create something that means something here that if you show it to your mom, your grandfather, your husband, or your wife, your kids, you feel like, man, I'm proud that I did this. I made this. This is part of my lasting legacy. And if your product or service isn't that good yet, or you're not willing to share that yet, then you need to go back and, and, and retool it. You gotta work to make it better and better and better. You know, a recent example, since you guys watch my YouTube channel, is the 50 cent video that I made. I was sharing his top 10 rules and tips for success. And uh, we spent over eight hours of research on that video. Forget about the editing and the publishing and all the other work, just eight hours of research. And my team spent five, which is longer than usual, I think, and they sent it to me, and it still wasn't good enough. You know, I wasn't proud of the product that we were releasing, and so I said, this isn't, this isn't good, I have to redo it. And I threw away, I would say, half of the clips that they gave me, and I just spent the next three hours of my evening putting together that clip so we would have something to release for you guys. And that's not putting my team down, you know, they usually do a fantastic job, just I wasn't proud of what, we had created and didn't want that to have my name on it coming out because I care about you guys and want, want to deliver an amazing product. I want, my, I want Hayden, you know, my six-year-old son, to be able to look at that video and, and be proud of what his father created. I want to be able to show it to my mom and show it to my wife. And one of the things that we talk about internally is, uh, oh, that's a really cool street. Check this out, New Orleans. One of the things that we talk about internally is I want to be able to make a video so good if I'm profiling somebody else that they are proud of it too, that I'm not just the only one proud of it. If they saw it, if I do a video on Oprah or Richard Branson or, or Howard Schultz, that they saw it, they'd be proud of it. And we're making that 50 cent video. The funny thing is once we released it, somehow it got to him, he loved it and he shared it, right? It went on his blog, it went on his Twitter feed, it went on his Facebook feed and you know, blew up that video, blew up my day as well because it was good. If I didn't spend those extra three hours of my time to create the video that I felt would make the difference, then that video wouldn't have done well. And 50 Cent probably wouldn't have liked it as much and he probably wouldn't have shared it, right? That makes a quality difference. And so for those of you who are creating your product or service, spend the time, put in the effort to create something that when you look at it, you feel proud, you feel brimming with joy. You can't wait to show people what you've made because until you get it to that level, it's not gonna go anywhere, all right? Be proud of your product, be proud of your service, stand up for what's right. Talking to you live from New Orleans. Uh, love to know what you guys think, what are you proud of? Question of the day. What are you proud of in your business? Leave in the comments below. Continue to believe, I'll see you guys soon.